Bakın. Once upon a time, far away from the city, Mother Goat and her seven kids lived happily in a farm in the forest. The animals that lived in this farm had no owners, so they ran the farm themselves. Every year, one of them would be nominated president. The animals would produce their own food and live together in harmony. They respected one another and tried to do the right thing. Doing so helped avoid any conflicts in the farm. Mother Goat's job was to collect milk from every animal that produced milk and she sold it in the market. She brought the money to the president so they could use it for the farm's needs. That year was Dog's turn to be president. He was responsible for the farm's security. From time to time, things disappeared in the farm. Everyone knew it was Dog's fault, but nobody dared to say anything because they were scared of his bark and big teeth. Unwillingly, the animals handed over management to Dog with a ceremony. I don't trust the dog. He still hasn't found the thief who stole our eggs recently. He never even looked for them. It'll be a tough year. Everyone knew that Dog and the bad wolf who lived in the forest were good friends. We should all be on our guard. We all have children. No way! He wouldn't give our children to the wolf. Either way, we should take precaution. He might not be good at his job, but he won't betray us. <laughs> we'll see about that. While the farm animals talked among them, Dog was enjoying his new post. Everything was going well in the first few days. The animals went back to their jobs and business was running as usual. There was nothing to worry about. One night, Mother Goat was awoken by screams and she immediately went outside to see what was going on. My children! My babies! They're gone! What's going on? Bad wolf kidnapped all the chicks! But how did this happen? They all approached Dog. His snores were so loud that they resonated all across the farm. Mother Goat knocked on the kennel's door. But Dog didn't wake up. I know what to do! Upon hearing roosters crowing, Dog got startled and hit his head in the kennel ceiling, thinking it was morning. What? What? What's happening? What kind of president are you? Bad Wolf kidnapped all my chicks while you slept soundly. Calm down, everyone. Maybe the chicks went for a walk. At this hour? It seems somebody helped Bad Wolf. No way! 
You can't look after your children. Are you not the president? We're supposed to come to you when we have problems. Everybody back to bed. We'll look for the chicks in the morning. All animals went back to bed worried. Something fishy is going on around here. We have to be careful. The next morning, under Dog's leadership, they searched for the chicks in vain. It seemed as if the poor chicks had vanished into thin air. All farm animals looked for the chicks until late in the evening. But they came back to the farm empty-handed. Mother Chicken was sobbing. No need for despair. You can always lay more eggs. Upon hearing this, Mother Chicken lunged at Dog and pecked him many times. That was what Dog had wanted. So he locked Mother Chicken in the coop. All farm animals went to bed early due to exhaustion. After they fell asleep, Dog sneaked out of his kennel and opened the farm gates. In the darkness, Big Bad Wolf turned up. Where have you been? I've been waiting for hours. I had to make sure everyone was asleep. You think it's so easy to fool everyone in such a big farm? Fine, fine. Cut it short. What do you want this time? The goat kids. They cost a lot more. The big bad wolf gave all he had in his wallet to Dog. <laughs> there we go. Just show me the goat's place already. The wolf stealthily approached the house where Mother Goat and the kids lived. The bad wolf went directly to Little Goat's room and began putting them in the sack. The startled goat kids huddled quickly and started screaming as their mother had taught them to do in such an emergency. Wolf was shocked, but wasn't about to give up on his prey. He leaped out of the window with the sack on his back and fled. Mother Goat, who had woken up due to her kids' screams, understood what happened and immediately ran after Wolf. Help! He stole my children! Help! Mother Goat, along with Cat and Rooster, began to tail Wolf. Not long after, Wolf disappeared in the darkness of night. Mother Goat sat on a rock and started crying desperately. She heard her baby screams. But unfortunately, she couldn't reach them. Just then, they heard wing flaps above them. Hey, follow me. I can see them. Mr. Owl could see Wolf thanks to his night vision. They followed Owl to Bad Wolf's den.
No. We should come up with a plan first. Mr. Owl is faster than us, so while we distract the wolf, he can fly back to the farm and get help. We can all attack and beat the wolf. Owl flew back to the farm. Mother goat, rooster and cat approached the house window and they saw wolf and dog shaking hands. Now everything makes sense. What are we going to do now? We'll wait for help to arrive. Meanwhile, the little goats tried to make sense of the situation. The youngest ones were so afraid they began to cry. We have to do something. We have to remain calm. Shh! Don't you cry now. Remember what Mom taught us? Stay calm. Be brave. Think and act. Yes, that's right. I have an idea. Listen to me. The little goats kept whispering and giggling among themselves. After their talk, one of them knocked on the locked door. Hey! That wolf! Look over here! The wolf approached the door. What? What do you want, you scoundrels? We have to go to the toilet. Toilet? <laughs> you can hold it in. Be patient. I'm taking you to the market to sell you all. <laughs> Suit yourself, Bat Wolf. There are seven of us. Think of all the mess we're gonna make. Bad Wolf and Dog looked at each other. You're scared of seven kids? Wolf unlocked the door, and they took the kids to the tree across the house in a single file. In the meantime, Mother Goat saw what was happening. Come on, do what you have to do, but be quick. Not with you looking at us. Yes, you have to turn around. Fine. Fine. Be quick. As soon as they turned around, one of the kids rammed Wolf and the other I... rammed Dog so hard that they were startled. The other kids began to butt the two accomplices. There's my babies. Come on, it's our turn now. Cat leaped out of the tree where he had been hiding and lunged at Wolf and scratched him. Rooster pecked at Dog's head with all his strength. The last hit came from Mother Goat with a mighty headbutt that sent both Wolf and Dog all over the ground. Rooster and Mother Goat were so happy to be reunited with their children. Rooster took his chicks under his wing to warm them up. Mother Goat hugged her kids and kissed each and every one of them. My dear children, I'm so proud of all of you. Owl took all the farm animals to the scene. There they are. Mother Goat told the animals everything. Everyone learned a lesson from it. From now on, the president of the farm was to be selected instead of taking turns. There would also be a farm council in which the farm animals would be able to make sure the president is doing a good job.
they also decided to kick Dog out of the farm. Mother Goat was elected as the president because of her courage. Everybody returned to their home and lived happily ever after, except for Wolf and Dog. Hey guys! Subscribe to our channel Kondo-san and watch the most popular fairy tales, cartoons, and nursery rhymes. Don't forget to click the bell for notifications.